Hello crafters, welcome to Acorn and Oak and today's video. Today we're going to be doing altering another one of these um, bunny MDF forms. Now I've already used one of these to create a candle stand. I will link that video at the end. And here's an image of the candle stand that I created. Today we're going to do something different, inspired by, um, I've forgotten the story now, um, oh my gosh, what is the story? I'm just painting these cogs and the bunny form, not Wizard of Oz, one where, oh my gosh, it's the rabbit from, you know, the one that's always late for the tea party, from, oh my gosh, I can't remember the story. I, I can hear you all shouting. I know you're all shouting and telling me it's this, it's this. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It's completely gone. I'll, I'll pull it up on the screen because I'm, I'm bound to remember when I'm editing this video. But I know you all know. Right, I'm going to give this a gentle covering. Not a great deal, because obviously I want a lot of the detail to still remain. And I've got some tiles there, which I'm going to leave as they are probably. And it says I can't be late. finish giving this a coat of gesso mum to the rescue cup of coffee and Alice in Wonderland that's what the film's called could not remember it for the life of me it's old age crafters, I think, old age. <laughs> right, I'm going to use two stencils. These are from Tim, the Tim Holtz collection. This is the Harley Quinn, I think it's called. Yeah, Harley Quinn. I, I think I might just do overlap them. That's kind of where my brain's going. So I'm gonna use my Pebio um, modeling paste. And I've got my spatula. I don't want this just on the ears. No, I think I want it half and half. Okay, so let's go on the ears. And now be careful not to destroy what I've already done using this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in sections. Will I be able to do it? If I do that, I'm going to have a line, but then I'm going to cover this in cogs anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. Whoops. What did I just say, crafters? Holy schmolies. Right, I'm going to take all that off. And start again. Right, so I've ruined some of my Harley Quinn down there, but not to worry so I'm going to put a finger there and a finger there and start again just to show you that um, sometimes accidents happen let me move you over slightly it's 
slightly too far out of frame. Okay. Okay, take that off. And then again, clean up the edges. Okay, we're going to let that sit and dry for about an, at least 20 minutes or so. And then we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, crafters, so I let that dry and I've given it another coat of gesso. So now I'm going to adhere my embellishments. Now I'm going to be using the modeling paste to adhere them. I'm going to have this over here. I'll clean up any of the uh, the mess around the uh, the cogs and so forth in a moment with a paintbrush. I'll make sure I've, you guys can see what I'm doing. With a brush, I am now going to go around and pick up all the the loose paste. Put it back in my jar. I need to let this sit for at least twenty minutes. And then I should give it another coat of gesso. Okay, using the small beads, I'm going to put them into a bowl here. And using the paste, I'm going to pick some up and I'm going to put some into, into the spaces. Okay, crafters, going through my stash of miniature of uh, embellishments, I've got these miniature um, teacups, and I thought, as you know, he was late for tea, I thought I would add some of these. So again, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the the uh, God, I can't think what it's called now the paste to attach them, but I need to remember where I want my so I can't be late. I want you up there. So I can have one here. Just 
trying to make sure that I don't cover up where I want my um, my tiles and I've got some here that are So miniature spoons, but I'm just going to clip off the ring at the top and add those. Just as just as added little touches, really, in keeping with the uh, the overall theme. some little umbrellas here so in the in Disney's cartoon version she uses um, an umbrella to play with the Queen if I can remember correctly it's been a while since I've um, watched that cartoon so I think I'll have you over here And somewhere I was thinking of using this dream as I've got all that words there I don't think you're going to I have this key which I want to use this little silver key I want this clock to be quite free from any um, embellishments because I want to I want that to pop so that all needs to dry so let me take these letters off that all needs to dry. I don't think these metal embellishments are working, so I may just use some hot glue to to to, uh, to glue them on. So now I've got some Lindy Stamp Gang and I'm going to drop this in. Now this is the the green. I'm just trying to remember what it is. It is the Shabby uh, Turbine Teal. And this will spray. Sometimes they spray and sometimes they don't want to. Okay, yeah, that wants to spray. And I've got this blue here also. And this is Azure Sea. Are you going to spray? Again, sometimes they want to spray. Looks like I'm running low on batteries. So I'm just going to splodge this. And then I'm going to spray it with my water spray I want this to be quite quite springy and airy I don't want it to necessarily be you know dark and steampunky even though it does have an element of that to it obviously because of the uh, the cogs Using a big makeup sponge and my Nuvo mousse, embellishment mousse, and this is the cornflower blue. I'm going to highlight some of the areas. I do like this blue. And I'm going to go down the around the around the uh, sides of it as well. Okay, now 
and move over to my Nouveau Mousse in the Cosmic Brown. I'm going to do the same thing. some of the gold to the handle and the bell chimes. And I'm going to clear this away so I can get my hot glue gun out and we are going to hot glue the I can't be late. Okay, I've decided that I can't, I, I think these are too bright. So I'm just gonna give them a quick whitewash with whatever's left on my gesso paintbrush. So let's glue these on. crafters there we go I'm really happy with the way that turned out so thank you very much for joining me today and you'll see me sometime soon take care now bye bye